Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm so excited to do. It is going to be a trying new makeup on this look right here. It is also my half birthday party get ready with me, if you will. So I have some new products to try. I recently posted a shop with me at Sephora where I got some new products like the Milk Makeup Bionic Blush, the Patrick Ta Mascara. I do also have the new Cinderella collection from Sigma Beauty to test out. So we have a lot to try today as I get ready for my half birthday party here in Vegas. Let's get started. Hello. Okay. Let's get ready. I'm going to start with my face like I normally do. I'm first just going to use some of the e.l.f. Putty Primer. And then we will hop into it. I don't have um, like every single product new, which is okay because this video is probably going to be long enough as it is, of course. Uh, so I'm just using some old staples for primer, foundation, concealer, powder. And then I think from there, everything else is going to be a new product. So yay. Um, so the day that I'm filming this is Thursday, September 23rd, which happens to be my half birthday. Does anyone else celebrate half birthday? I haven't always, but you know, <laughs> where this particular one stemmed from was March 2020. Who remembers March 2020? Uh, you know, everything shut down because of COVID, like March 16th, I want to say it was. Like, I think it was right before St. Patty's Day. And obviously, I feel like you have to do the disclaimers of, like, there was bigger issues at hand. And it was such a scary time. I lost my one of my uncles almost immediately. I want to, was it, like, April 1st or something? Like, the very beginning of April, lost an uncle to COVID. So, obviously, we know what the bigger picture is. But also, at that time... I was getting ready to launch my collab with Ofer Cosmetics. We had a huge party planned in Florida. Influencers were coming in from all over. There was a meet and greet planned. So many of you had told me that you were coming. I was so excited for it. And, you know, it, it was going to be a first for me, a first for me in this, in this world and in this career. And I was so looking forward to it. So, you know, when things started to get canceled and then we had to make the decision to cancel, obviously it was very sad. And, I remember talking about it in videos that no matter what it was, no matter how you were impacted, it was still okay to be sad. Even though there was bigger issues at play, even though there was really scary issues at play, it's still okay to be sad if you had to postpone your wedding, if you couldn't go to your graduation, if you couldn't do your vacation, your honeymoon, you know, whatever it may be. Like, it was still okay to be sad about whatever it was that you were missing. That's just normal, right? So I remember that happened, you know, we decided to call it off and we're like, it's okay, we'll just reschedule. Because you remember in the beginning, I'm using the Kaja Heart Sponge and my Estee Lauder Double Wear in, what do I have, 3 three and 1 um, as my foundation. Uh, and so I remember in the beginning we were told like, oh, we have to, you know, stay inside and self-distance and all of these social distance and all of these things for, what was it like eight weeks, six or eight weeks or something like that? And I was like, oh, okay. And, you know, so I was talking with the Ofer team of like, oh, we'll just reschedule and that'll be fine. And we could even do it in the fall and <laughs> everything will be okay. And I was like, you know, it kind of stinks because for our birthdays, like we couldn't even be with family. And I share a birthday with my, you know, now ex-brother-in-law, but, and also one of Mitch's cousins. And, you know, it was, I think that was our first year that we lived in where I previously lived, which was near Mitch's family. I was like, oh, you know, we could like get together and it'll be so much fun. And then we couldn't see anyone. We just, I remember the day of my birthday, Mitch and I were in the truck with Aries and we just drove around and waved at people in their driveways. Remember when we were doing that? Like that was how we were like seeing the outside world was through driveways. Like such a crazy time. Um, and so I thought to myself, you know what? that's fine everything will be fine by september and we can just go i wanted to come to vegas for my half birthday i was like it's fine it will just make it up that way we'll come to vegas in september because mine and mitch's birthdays are five days apart so i was like it's fine we'll just take a trip to vegas in september and it'll be all good and we'll just you know that's how we'll celebrate it and i remember thinking like so many people are going to feel bad for aries because we got our birthdays canceled <laughs> You know, then everyone obviously got their birthdays canceled or multiple birthdays canceled. But so that was 2020 and what happened with my birthday there. Then flash forward to 2021. <laughs> 
I'm gonna use a combo for concealers. I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath Sublime in L6 on my under eyes, and then the Hourglass Ar or the Hourglass who? The Armani Power Fabric. Uh, I'm going to use that on just any redness that I can still see kind of poking through. Not find my regular mirror. It was literally right in front of me. Embarrassing. But then flash forward to March 2021. My birthday's March 23rd, if I didn't say. Flash forward March 2021. I am now separated from my husband, but you know, we're still living in the same house. We're just living on different floors. Mitch and I were fairly amicable through the divorce proceedings and we were able to live in a big enough house where, you know, I stayed on the top floor and he would stay in the basement and, and everything would be fine. But we were still pretty cordial with one another. I mean, we we'd, we were friends first and uh, we were friends first and, you know, we still cared about one another. And every once in a while, we would come together for like, you know, dinner or something like that or walk areas together and kind of discuss like what we're doing and our situation and how we're handling it and, you know, different things like that. And I'm not sure why I got it in my head that we would have a birthday dinner for me. Um, I'm not sure why I thought that, but I really wasn't planning to cry in this video. It was quite a bummer for me, but I love birthdays. I love my birthday. I especially love the people around me's birthdays. I love for people to have fun and feel special and important on their day. And I always, you know, have tried to go like out of my way for people's birthdays. It's just kind of, I don't know, that's just a personality trait of mine, if you will. And I've always also enjoyed my birthday, but one thing I also really enjoy for my birthday because I am someone who like, I have social anxiety. I don't always love the spotlight being on me, which sometimes I think people don't realize because of what I do. They think like, oh, you're in the spotlight, you know, all the time. But in reality, I'm by myself. <laughs> I'm by myself right now. <laughs> I'm talking to myself right now, um, which is why I love this career so much because it's, it's also a very introverted, friendly career at the same time. Um, so a lot of times for my birthday, I would just request dinner and that was something that was started like from my childhood. My mom would always let the kids pick, um, whatever we wanted for our birthday dinner, whether we wanted something to be made at home, whether we wanted to go to a restaurant. Like I remember I went through a phase of long John Silver's. That's where I kept wanting. My mom was like, really long John Silver's for your birthday? And I'm like, yes, please. That is where I want to go. And that's where we would have to go because it was your birthday. You got to pick what was for dinner. And so birthday dinners are, have just, you know, kind of been a thing for me too, that that's just something that I've come to appreciate. So for some reason, I got it in my head that Mitch and I would at least have dinner together the night of my birthday. And I waited for him to come home from work and he ended up not, not coming home until a long time. Um, and then I think it got to be around like 7.30 and I usually eat at like 5.30, 6 o'clock, like I'm an early eater. So it was finally about 7.30 and he still wasn't home and I was like, oh, okay. And so I went to the gas station, I went to Casey's and I got a piece of pizza and puppy chow and came home and ate it. And I just remember I cried the whole night. And I remember I took a piece of, of a picture of the pizza and the puppy chow and I said my birthday next year will not look like this and not only did I not mean that it won't look like me sitting at home eating dinner by myself because at that time no one knew that I was separated from Mitch or that I was about to move but that was another thing that I meant my next birthday I will not feel like this I will not feel alone I will not feel unloved. I will not feel that way my next birthday. So my 34th, definitely one of my worst birthdays. <laughs> one I would love to forget. All right, I'm gonna use a cream product before I do my Dior powder. So Jouer sent me a PR package. I was very excited for, about this. I've never gotten a PR package from Jouer. So, and they sent their new uh, Bloom Bronze and Glow. So this is a bronzer highlighter duo. So I'm excited to try this out. Ooh, 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 
if you saw my bronzer declutter you saw that I finally panned a bronzer and that is my Jouer bronzer duo so I thought that was pretty neat so this is the one that has sunrise and then also rose quartz so I'm just gonna use a little bit of this first again before I come in with any powder products oh that is kind of lighter than I was expecting it to be. So flash forward to, you know, I moved to Vegas and I was talking with my manager about just different things that I wanted to do. And I really wanted to do a Vegas meet and greet because of the one that got canceled in Miami. And we thought that we could plan one in Vegas. And I was like, oh, you know, this half birthday thing, like we could just try to make a play on that somehow. And so we put together a whole event with a meetup and I was so excited for it to finally be able to do this and it was like a week before we had like finalized things and I was going to actually announce it that the Delta variant um, you know really started to obviously become a serious issue and we were just like we can't we can't so canceled everything again and I was like, well, you know, at least this time it was before people bought plane tickets and booked hotel rooms and then we're having to cancel things and all of that. So at least that happened, but I was still super disappointed because I just, I really wanted that to happen. Um, but one of the things that we were going to do was to also have um, one of the nightclubs here host the, the birthday. We are still able to do that just in a little bit of a different capacity instead of having you know influencers flying in here um it's just going to be a, a handful of my friends from the complex it's a pretty small thing um you know you have to wear your masks and they do still have the social distancing and and things like that so i'm still gonna do a, a little something it's just different from what i originally planned but i know like i think some people when i'm like oh like it's my half birthday and i'm like well let me tell you why my last two birthdays and again grand picture with COVID. Everyone's had a birthday canceled. Some people have had multiple birthdays canceled and plans canceled and weddings and graduations and obviously deaths and sickness on top of everything. But one thing that I was saying and that I put in my Instagram stories is, you know, I'm just choosing to find any reason to celebrate. Any reason to celebrate being happy, any reason to celebrate any sort of success. If COVID taught us anything. It's how short life is, how, how quickly, rapidly things can change. So why not find any of those small reasons that we can either pat ourselves on the back, come together with loved ones, just find reasons to, to be happy. I, I, I'm, I'm excited. I can't even, I like, I, I was not planning to talk about some of these things. I, sometimes I just sit down and I just feel like I'm at therapy and I'm like, let me tell you the story. Sometimes I wish I didn't do it in editing. I'm like, oh, maybe I should cut that part. Oh, maybe I should cut out that part. <laughs> but um, so yeah, all that to say, I'm filming this on Thursday. It's my half birthday. I am being hosted tonight uh, by Hakusan Nightclub, which I'm really excited for. I've been there before. It's a fun place uh, and I'm looking forward to it. I just have a really small group from the complex that's going with me. I tried to, you know, keep everything small. Um, and a little bit more low key, you know, it's a Thursday night. No one's, no one's getting real crazy. I got work to do tomorrow. I got Aries to take to daycare tomorrow. I'm just going to do a little bit of the cream highlight also. Um, but that is my plan. So that is what I'm getting ready for. And I just posted on my Instagram stories and said, is it smart to film a trying new makeup the night of your half birthday party? Like, I don't know. We'll have to see, but I knew I didn't want to do like a new foundation. I knew that would be a bad thing, but I have like a new mascara, a new eyeshadow palette. We're just gonna cross our fingers that things go okay, because I do have somewhere to be, I do have to be photographed and all of the things. So I'm like, ah, hopefully this goes all right, but you know, we'll see. Um, I do also have my Milk Makeup Bionic bionic blush in infinity i have a tutorial on my instagram so i can put that down below uh, i'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand and then pick it up from there so when i used this before i was actually kind of surprised because when i swatched it in my sephora haul i thought it swatched pretty sheer but it went on with much more oomph than i thought like it actually it, it, not that it took me a little bit to blend out because I thought it was pretty easy to blend. I just went in so heavy thinking that it's a little bit more on the sheer side. And I was like, oh, 
um, okay. So yeah, but it's a really pretty shade. It's more pink than I was thinking. I thought it would be a little bit more mauve -y, but still a pretty blush. So again, I just like to do my cream and liquids before I set everything with the Dior powder. And then I'll probably come back and top with powder products. Again, just because I want to uh, have longevity with my makeup tonight. So if it was just a day where I was going to be hanging around here, I probably wouldn't care as much, but do want my makeup to last all night. So yeah, that is what I am getting ready for. I'm really excited. I feel like I have a really good group of people coming with me and people who I really care about. So yeah, it's just been really nice to meet friends here through the complex and you know, when I was telling them about it, everyone's like, yeah, I love it. Perfect. Let's do it. This is exciting. I was like, oh, okay, thank you. And it's so interesting to me how people here are so supportive of what I do or even just like interested in what I do. It's so nice. Um, it made me laugh the other day on one of our group chats. <laughs> we had so many messages going at one time, me and three other people, so many messages. And one of the guys was working and he comes back and he was like, I, his text message said, I had to mute this. And he's like, my phone sounded like Sam's phone after a fire Instagram post, hashtag influencer. And I laughed for like an hour. I was like, that's hilarious. And then the other guy was like, her phone gives me anxiety. I was like, you guys are so funny. But like, it's just, it's such an interesting dynamic that people here are interested in what I do and they like to talk to me about it and support me. And you know, I was telling my friends tonight that I have social anxiety and especially when something is kind of more geared towards me, I get a little bit more anxious about it. And I, I kept saying, I was like, I'm probably gonna have an anxiety attack. This is what it looks like. This is like how I get out of it. And, and they were like, just let us know anything you need. Like, let's like, let us help. Like what, what, what can we do? Like what photos can we take? They literally sat with me and went over what photos I want to be taken, what videos I want to be taken, who's going to be doing them, when to boomerang, when they were like, should we go by like confetti? We pop confetti on you and that would make a cool picture. And like, we literally had like a strategy meeting of how to handle going to Hakkasan tonight since it's technically a work event for me. And I'm just like, Thank you. Like, I, it just, it was such an, I, I remember coming home and I write in my gratitude journal at night and I just had so, like, I just couldn't stop writing things down because I was like, I'm just so grateful for all of the, I was there, so grateful for all of the amazing people that I have met just in the, you know, few short months that I've been out here. It's, it's really been such a game changer and I don't know, I just feel incredibly grateful that I landed in Vegas, that I landed at the complex that I'm at, and that I'm, you know, these people are being put into my path right now. It's uh, it's pretty incredible. I just went and set with my Dior Powder No Powder, shade three. So the bronzer from Jouer, I just think I need a different shade. That one was so light on me. So again, that one is in Sunset. So that was just a little bit too light. The blush you can still like kind of see poking through. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna come back and top with some powder products to make them last a little bit longer also. The highlight, yeah, I feel like I just need, you know, I'm usually a little bit more tan these days, so I think I just need, um, no, I forgot to use my milk. I cannot remember to use this, and I know so many people wanted to see this. What am I going to do? Well, I know I have a members get ready with me coming up because I was planning to film it either tomorrow or Saturday. My members only videos. I'm so mad at myself right now. It's literally, it's been sitting right in front of me this whole time. I can't remember to use this though. I've only used it two times because I can't remember to use it. This is the Milk uh, Hydro Grip Eye Primer. So it's supposed to help with like your concealer. I'm literally like, Want, I, I like I feel like I want to go wipe off my how am I gonna do this? Okay, that's probably gonna be dumb since I have like everything on my face I literally just sat here for almost five minutes staring out the window trying to decide what to do But I'm just frustrated because I know a lot of people wanted To see that and so then like I wanted to show you but again I've only used it two times because I can't remember to use it It's just not a step that I would normally take <laughs> So I keep not remembering so I really don't have much to say about it yet um it's kind of weird to put a product here. Like I put it on my under eyes and I tap it out and I've done my concealer and my powder and I think things look fine. Like I, I want to say they look 
better like it like it holds my concealer and powder for a longer amount of time that's what i think which that's what it's supposed to be doing but again i've only used it two times so i can't really say yet so i'm so sorry i'm so annoyed with myself i'm gonna try to remember to use it in my members only video but honestly pff, chances are looking pretty slim because i can't even remember to use it when it's right in front of my face um but <laughs> Just keep moving on uh, I'm gonna use the new brow pencil from makeup by Mario so I have not used this yet so I'm feeling a little bit nervous about this because brows can uh I don't know brows can be a tricky thing to do so I got the this is the master blade brow pencil in light brunette so you have to like push it up here okay kind of gives me like goof proof vibes so let's just go ahead and see. I'm literally so mad at myself. Like, I almost just started crying again. I was so frustrated. <laughs> okay, actually, I don't think that was bad. So I saw some reviews saying that the pencil was pretty dry, but I didn't think so. Like, when I first made the line, like, that was sharp. The shade match is good. I was worried about the shade match because out of all of the pencils that they had, this was the only one that they didn't have the tester to have the employee swatch it for me. So I was like, great. <laughs> so she was swatching the other ones and I was like, I don't know. I didn't feel like any of them were spot on. So I just bought this without swatching it, but I don't know. I like it. Not bad. Let's try the bad brow now though. This is where things could get a little crazy. Okay. Bad brow. Not loving like the front as much, but that's it's usually more of a me thing. I feel like I just need a more precise pencil for the front of this brow, which sometimes that is just just the case. But I don't mind it. I don't I don't mind this pencil. It was fairly easy to work with. Like off the bat, I don't think it would replace like my goof proof or the precisely my brow, because those are just those are just my favorites. I do like that I can push it back down. Cause non-retractable so I do not like that, it drives me a little bit crazy. So I don't know, so far so good on the Makeup by Mario brow pencil. So I'm happy about that. All right, now I just like keep, like I'm like so paranoid. I keep looking over at my pile, like don't forget something else. I'll probably just, I'll try to do like an Instagram reel. Maybe I'll throw it up as like a YouTube short or something so you can at least see what it looks like. Oh, I'm just frustrated with myself, but uh, you know, happens to the best of us, I guess. Uh, all right, so Sigma just launched their Cinderella collection. Now, I did purchase the Jaguar palette from Huda Beauty in that Sephora shop with me, and that's what I was planning to use. But this palette just launched, this collection just launched, and I thought it was so cute. So I'm going to use the eyeshadow palette. There's also a cheek duo, and then these super freaking cute brushes. You guys know I love the Sigma brushes. Hello. And the blue, I just, something about it. I'm just really feeling it. So... Pulled an audible and we're gonna go ahead and use this palette instead. So I am a Sigma affiliate. If you're interested in grabbing the collection, my code is Samantha. This is so beautiful and there's, I feel like there's so many fun looks to do. I, I do just have in mind the outfit that I'm going to be wearing tonight. So I'm gonna do a little bit more of a Samantha look. It's probably not gonna be the most exciting one, but I'm gonna be really excited to use some of these purples. That was probably is going to be my next look. But I'm going to stick over here because my outfit tonight is pink and sparkly. So that is, uh, that's what I'm going to stick with for right now. So I'm first going to take the shade Pumpkin and then put this into my lid. I'm using the double-ended brush that comes in the collection and the E38 Diffused Crease. So I'm just going to go ahead and first put that into my little bit above the crease. I think I'm actually going to do, I was trying to think between cinders and stroke of midnight, but I kind of just want to go ahead and do stroke of midnight. You know what? Let's just do it. So I'm going to use the E44, one of my favorite brushes, and I'm going to add this to the outer part of my lid. Just pulling another audible, you know, everything's fine. And yeah, I'm just gonna add that right to the outer part of my eye. Purple is just one of my favorite colors to wear and you know, it's my half birthday. So I'm gonna do what I wanna do. <laughs> I'm actually really uh, happy that I decided to go that route. I really like that purple, it's so beautiful. Then I'm gonna take the E54. I'm first gonna come in with Fantasy. First put that, ooh, oh, oh, oh. This is 
with a dry brush. I just, oh man. Oh, I'm getting excited. I'm getting, okay. All right. All right. I feel like I had lunch with some of the group today and we're sitting there and the one guy goes, I'm really excited for you tonight, Sam. I was like, I have a lot of anxiety. <laughs> that was my response. He was like, it's fine. Like, we'll, everything's fine. We'll rally around you. I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to be. But you know what? I feel like the makeup is making me more excited. It's getting me in the mood. <gasps> Look at how beautiful the shade is. Do I need to zoom you in more? Look at how freaking gorgeous that is. It's a little dark right now for my outfit. But wow. So, so pretty. Sigma and their palettes. I am telling you, man. They do not come to play. Like, honestly, this is so stunning on its own, but like I said, a little bit dark for my outfit tonight. So I'm trying to see if I want to use my finger or another brush. Okay, so I have the another E54 right next to me. Love how that worked out for me. And I am going to grab Dressmaker and I'm gonna pop this on top and see, see how we feel about that just to kind of lighten things up a little bit. Oh yeah, 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 let's keep doing that. Oh yeah, okay, okay. This is so gorgeous. I was actually thinking of doing false lashes tonight and I might just do it. Whew. Just gonna do a little bit of blending. I love that you can still see like the purple in here, but then we lightened up the shimmers. Oh, I'm just... So I think I'm actually gonna do winged liner and lashes, which I'm better at doing those off camera. I just almost failed you for the second time in this video because I got a new mascara. So it would probably help if we put the mascara on before we put the lashes on, Samantha. <sighs> I'm losing it, y'all. Uh, so I got the new mascara from Patrick Ta, the Major Volume Mascara. So I haven't tried this one yet and I was very nervous to try a new mascara tonight but then I decided to do lashes, then I did my eye look, and I decided to stick with the lashes. So we're just going to do these on the top lashes and see how it goes. But this is what the wand looks like. So I'm just going to pop these on my top lashes, and we will see. So this is one coat. Uh, it feels like a pretty dry mascara. I don't know if I notice anything, you know, super crazy off of one coat, but... Try a second. Looks like maybe it's curling them nicely. Okay. Um, you know, I just got the Rare Beauty Mascara recently and I am in love with that. <laughs> like, absolutely in love with that mascara. And I just feel like I don't know what could compete with it, but this is definitely reaffirming my decision to wear false lashes because I feel like with this eye look, there's just, you know, there's so much sparkle going on. Like, we definitely need, we need some more drama with the lashes i think this is fine for maybe like an everyday mascara because i do see you know some length and volume and, and and curl but not like the rare beauty just does like it just transforms your lashes and then it does not move it is it is sweat proof it is vegas proof it is it's everything proof i don't know man it's everything proof it's not moving it's not moving. All right, so again, here is the mascara on my lashes. I'm getting, like I keep getting some transfer right here. No, that is not what we want, but yeah, so far so good. I mean, I'll definitely try it on a day where I do like top and bottom lashes. We'll see how long it stays. I like the way that it curls my lashes, but right now I wouldn't compare it to my Rare Beauty, my Maybelline, or my Lawless. Those are like my top three mascaras at the moment, but now, I'm gonna go ahead and do liner and lashes and try not to mess up this video anymore. All right, we are back, did liner, lashes. So I used the new Natasha Denona Macro Blade Liquid Liner. This was sent in the PR package with the Retro Palette. Uh, I really liked it, it was very smooth, it was very easy to use. I don't do wings very often. So again, doing all of this on this night is an interesting choice. And then I just popped on some lashes from Stilazzi. I still have a whole bunch of those. I don't know if they're still in business or selling products, but I have a whole ton of their lashes and these are in after hours. I added a little bit of milk bonus to my waterline. And then to finish off my lower lash line, 
I'm gonna add a little bit of cinders and then mix that with Stroke of Midnight. And I'm going to use the pencil brush from the Cinderella collection. All right, and then for the inner corner, I am going to pop on some of Wishful. I'm gonna do inner corner and brow bone highlight with this one. Then to finish off the lower lashes, I'm just going to use the Maybelline Sky High because I know that this will not move because I've already gotten some transfer from the Patrick Ta. No! All right, eyes are done. Loving the way that they turned out. It was so fun. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off the face. Like I said, I was going to top everything with some powder products. I'm going to use my Marc Jacobs a Tantastic Bronzer because uh, I had mentioned in my bronzer declutter that like for a while there I was only trying to use this bronzer for like special occasions because it was so expensive. And I, you know, kind of talked myself out of that and was like, girl, you just got to use the bronzer. Life is short. But this is also a special occasion. So I feel like I should use one of my favorite bronzers. I also got my hair done today, which was very exciting for me. I love to get a blowout. Then for blush, I'm going to use the Cinderella Duo. So we have the Ever After Blush. This is so cute. Ever After Blush and then a glow. I'm going to use the brush in the collection. Okay, that blush is pretty pigmented. I might have gone a little bit hard, but, you know, it's only 4 o'clock. We're not even getting picked up till 9. I think it'll be okay. And then, I don't know, do they have a highlighter brush? Okay, I got my FL3 from Sigma, so I'm just going to use some a glow on the tops of my cheekbones. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, okay. So I know I have my face done, but I didn't spray my face, and I really want to, so... Let us all hope this turns out okay, but I'm just going to use some of my all-nighter setting spray. Like, I feel like I already have mascara transfer anyway, so even if more does, we'll just have to fix it before we leave. We've got plenty of time. It's all good. Mm. I like those. I'm so glad I went with the purple and the eyeshadow palette. I feel like that was a good decision. <laughs> that gloss is very sparkly. That is a lot of fun. And it looks exactly like my eyeshadow like combo <laughs> ended up it's turning out. Mm. All right. So this here is the final look for my half birthday celebration. Get rid of me. <laughs> All right. So that is it for today's video. Uh, I'm not going to put my outfit on for a little bit longer. This is the final look um, to run through some of the products. I think the standout to me was definitely the Sigma eyeshadow palette. I absolutely love how this looks. I love the Sigma eyeshadows, how they layer with each other. It's just like another level. Their brushes are always fantastic. The face duo I thought was really pretty. I really like the blush. I know it's kind of heavy, but like I really like it right now. Um, the Patrick Town mascara, I'm not so sure about. You know, I got some transfer right away and I didn't feel like it was totally va va voom, but I'll definitely give it another try. You know, of course, a day where I'm not wearing false lashes. The Jouer uh, bronzer and highlight duo, I just don't think is a good shade match for me. I think I need to, I would need to go like to the next step up. The Milk Makeup Liquid Blush, I do like. Again, I have that tutorial on Instagram. Um, but again, wanted to top it with a powder to make sure that my makeup lasts all night long. Uh, I like the Charlotte lip products. Is there anything else new that I tried? I'm so sorry that I failed you on the milk primer because I feel like that's what everybody wanted to see. So I will figure out a way to make that up to you because I feel really dumb. And I also really wanted to use it for myself. So I cannot believe that I forgot that one, but so sorry about that. I also really like the Sigma lip gloss, but that is it. That's it for today's trying to make up my half birthday party. Get ready with me. Uh, I'm going to go eat my dinner and try to edit this video and uh, then I will be off. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. It really does mean a lot. And, um, you know, it, it really does feel almost like cathartic every time that I sit down and I start to have this conversation online because I am still trying to get through my DMs and still trying to get through my emails from so many of you after you watched my life update video. And I hope you know how much it means to be able to read those messages and that you take your time out of your day to send those to me. It, it, it makes me more willing to keep opening up and to, you know, not just show a highlight reel of my life, but to actually talk about how it feels, especially to go through something so monumental and life-changing. So thank you so much for your support. It really is so appreciated. But if you enjoyed this video, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.